Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to when I'm at Sim Sports speed building video. So as you can probably tell from the title, in today's video I'm going to be building a library. And so basically I was going to the library quite a lot in my game and I just was not liking the Willow Creek library. The the one that came with the base game, it just I really didn't like it. Like no no hate or anything like that to EA, but I just really didn't like it and so I decided to redo it and there's actually a funny story about this. So originally I renovated it. Um, when I say I've like done the renovation, I literally spent about 10 minutes trying to figure it out and it didn't, it wasn't working. I just couldn't renovate it and I just decided, right, I'm just gonna make my own. And then I made another two libraries and they both just weren't cutting it. They just weren't it. <laughs> and so I decided on the fourth one, hopefully this will work out and it did i actually really like the way it turned out i think it's absolutely adorable um and so yeah so this was my th fourth attempt at building this and so as you can tell it probably took quite a lot of time i was just kind of having like a creative blockage if that makes any sense like i know you can get like writer's block and stuff like that i was having a building block is basically what was happening i just couldn't figure it out for the life of me how i wanted this library to be and I tried looking up like libraries, like real life libraries and oh, I just didn't really like any of them either and it just wasn't cutting it. But originally, originally, uh, finally rather, I can't actually speak, finally I got to this and I'm actually really happy with it. I think it turns out really, really nice. Um, but I've actually got a funny story about this. So I actually built this about an hour and a half before The Sims Maxis Monthly live stream which happened on the 4th, I think, of February, which is the 19th anniversary of The Sims, which is absolutely crazy because I literally have been playing The Sims since I can remember. I've been playing it for around like 13 to 14 years and it's like 19 years old. Like, like that is absolutely crazy. Like I literally have been playing it for so long and it's now like 19 years old. Like I'm only officially a year and a bit older than The Sims which is mad but anyway um back on track so i was watching the max's monthly live stream after i built this and before i built this i was either going to build a chinese inspired build or i was going to build a library because i wanted to do both um like i said my sims have been visiting the library quite a lot so i knew i wanted to do the library or i wanted to do a chinese inspired build so basically a few videos ago, I think it might have been my, not my last video, the one before that, someone commented saying that I should try building some stuff um, like from different places in the world. So like some European style builds, some uh, Asian style builds, all this kind of stuff. And I actually had a really cool idea. Um, well, actually no, I didn't. My boyfriend actually had a really cool idea um, for me to build like a Chinese inspired kind of build. And so I was like, oh my God, yeah, that is such a cool idea. And so I was originally going to like do that. So I was debating when I was going into my game, should I build the Chinese style build or should I build the library? And I knew I only had a certain amount of time because I wanted to watch the Max's monthly live stream. Um, and so I decided that with the Chinese build that I was going for, like I kind of have it in my head now, that it would take so long to build it and I didn't want to stop halfway through and then watch the live stream and then go back to it. I wanted to just kind of go on a roll, you know, like when you're just in the mood just to, like, yeah. And so I decided, right, I'll just build the library now and I'll build the, like, Chinese-inspired build later on. And then I watched the Max's monthly live stream and they actually announced that they were releasing a Chinese-inspired, I think it's called Lunar New Year, patch update and when they released well when they like said that they was doing this I was like I am so happy I did not do that build because I would have done like this Chinese inspired build and then I would have like this new content of Chinese influenced stuff and it wouldn't be in my build I mean I could have added it afterwards but so it's just funny how the world works I mean it, the world didn't work obviously like that but you know what I mean like it's just funny how things work out because I was planning on doing that and then I decided with the time frame that I had that I was going to do this one instead and yeah so it was weird <laughs> um but anyway now going on back to the build as I'm just cluttering up all of these 
like plants and stuff for like the exterior i don't do much landscaping in this i wanted it to be quite like not flowery this that makes no sense but do you know what i mean like, i didn't want loads and loads of landscaping and so i decided just to do like a little flower box kind of thing over here at the front and i put this sign in and i know that it's for like the police or detective career in the sims 4 get to work but i just thought it was an absolutely adorable sign and i just wanted like there to be like a little sign saying like public library or willow creek archive or something like that because that's the name of the original build that was like which came with the game um i don't know if i'm actually going to keep it or if i'm going to rename it myself like to something else but i don't really know what else to name it um i don't even know what i've titled this video yet probably just like the sims 4 library or something <laughs> i mean hopefully i'll come up with something more creative than that but i mean i might not have um but anyway now i'm just doing the back garden and so i actually want you to make this child friendly and pet friendly so i've been watching a lot of plum bella recently she's one of my favorite people to watch on youtube if you haven't seen any of her videos i highly recommend um i'll link her channel in the description box below but i've been watching her videos and i downloaded her save file and with her save file she tried to make every single community lot prep pet prep pet um <laughs> pet and child friendly wow I, I literally just had like a brain fart then okay so i tried she tried to make it pet and child friendly and so that's what i tried to do with this build i tried to make it so children and pets could also come here i mean the pets don't have a lot to do they've got like a little box thing at the back um for like toys and stuff but for children there's a lot more than pets let's just say that so i did actually put the monkey bars in and there's actually a child play area downstairs but we'll get to that in a minute um but anyway i've just moved on and i'm doing the interior now and i did go around and just do the floor plan and like the wallpaper and the floor in the floor plan it was only really two separate rooms which was the two different bathrooms and so i just created them i didn't feel like i needed to keep them in because it was quite a basic thing um, and so yeah, I'm doing the bathrooms now and for some reason I decided to do them first <laughs> Instead of actually doing the main structure of the build first, I decided to do the bathrooms, which I never do that I always normally whenever I go and build a house, I normally go and build the kitchen first I feel like a lot of people do that as well Like I just want to get the kitchen done and then like the dining room and the lounge and all that kind of stuff But we're not doing a house. We're doing a library and so I don't know why I did the bathroom first, but I did um, but anyway, now we're moving on to the reception area downstairs and as you can see, I used the get to work counters and I actually really like these counters. I wish they came in like a normal counter like style. So they come in like the one where you can have bar stools on but not the actual counter which you can just place against the wall. Hopefully that makes sense but for some reason they don't come in that and they only come in like the barstool version and it's so annoying but i did want to use them for this build because you know it's kind of i kind of wanted to and i kind of felt like i needed to but i definitely wanted to have like a little reception area just so the library the librarian is that how you say it i'm not sure they have like a designated place to go but when i came around to doing the screenshots for this the li the the library person that runs the lot they don't even run the library but you know what i mean i can't actually say the word um but they were just around chilling around on like the other computers which was quite annoying but hopefully they can stay put in your game and my game is just a little bit weird um but anyway now i'm just going on and doing this little area out the back and i decided to do a fireplace in this build because i thought it'd be so cute and cozy especially if you have seasons and it's like a rainy day or a snowy day and you come to the library and you do some work or you do some research or whatever and you can just sit on the sofa by the fire and have a cup of tea and i just thought it was adorable i did actually put a tea maker machine upstairs i put a tea maker machine and a coffee machine upstairs just because i wanted your sims to be able to have a nice hot drink whilst they were i don't know doing their homework or whatever they're doing in the library i just wanted there to be a nice place so they can get a drink basically um but now i'm doing like the tables and so in this area i did tables but more like homework tables for like study groups so your teenage sims can come here with their group of friends or their club or whatever they want and they can all sit at these tables and do homework 
and so that's what these tables were for these were literally just for homework and nothing else and now I'm just going on and doing it the other side which is the opposite side of the room and this is where the computers are so there is more computers upstairs but I wanted them to be on like both levels so this is the first set of computers there is four computers four chairs <laughs> pretty simple um but I decided to use the seasons desk just because I really like the look of it and it, it just felt right for a library I know that sounds really really strange but it just felt like it placed in the library so perfectly and then I also used I think the cats and dogs chairs or they might be seasons I'm not sure the two packs cats and dogs are very very similar in style I don't know if like I'm the only person that thinks that I'm probably not but I get them confused with what they like because some some of the stuff is so similar so I always think it's something from like seasons when it will actually be from cats and dogs maybe I'm just being silly but that's just kind of how I see it but now moving on I am doing the little child area out the back of the build and so as I said this was kind of inspired by Plum Bella's save bowl um, she made every single community lot pet and child friendly like I said um, and so this was kind of like the child designated play area and so we just got like a little toy box we've got a little dog teddy bear and then we've got the castle which is kind of like a dollhouse kind of thing and I just thought it would be really sweet if maybe like a mum like a single mum or something who was maybe trying to learn a new skill or whatever wanting to come to the library she could bring her toddler or a little child and they could like come and sit downstairs and they could play while the mum learns or the dad learns or whatever that's just kind of what I thought when I was doing this there's always there's a lot of stuff for children to do in this lot as well as the monkey bars outside and so your children can come here and just not be bored I mean they can go on the computer anyway but maybe the mum or the dad doesn't really want their child to be using the computer so much I'm not really sure <laughs> but now I'm just trying to figure out what ch what kind of chair that I want I actually can't speak what kind of chair that I want and I was trying to put these pillows in and then I wasn't sure about it and I think I'd delete them but I actually do end up putting them in um but I wanted to use these cats and dogs chairs. I think they're cats and dogs they might be I'm pretty sure they're cats and dogs chairs um but they're the sweetest little chairs it always reminds me of like a little old lady sitting on that chair and just like reading her book and drinking her tea or something like that they're, they're really cute chairs I love them chairs um and so yeah I just added them in so maybe they wanted to monitor the child or the toddler when they're playing the games or something um that's just really what I was going for and then I'm just doing the little back garden bit well the kind of back entrance of the back garden bit if you know what I mean um and I just didn't want to leave that staircase kind of plain and so I do just whack a photo of some woman maybe that was the woman that lived here before or maybe it was I don't know <laughs> someone who lived here before or I'm pretty sure I had another picture of someone who like was like a priest or something um like the councillor I think it was it came with the city living it's a painting of a woman um but it actually says it in the description maybe they lived here before and maybe that was the man or something <laughs> I don't know um I was being creative okay um but anyway I'm just doing this little area over here and it's just got like a little fish tank in here and stuff I didn't really know what to put in that spot where I put the fish tank but I thought that the fish tank kind of went well you know it's got a little bit of Brinderton Bay tying in with it even though it's in Willow Creek I just thought it was cute um but this is where I'm just gonna add that painting and that's the painting that I was talking about I think it's like a it's either like a counsellor or a priest or something like that I don't feel like it would be a priest because the sims have said before that they don't really want to add religion into the game um because they've, obviously everyone has different like religions and stuff like that um so I don't think it was a priest I think it was just a counsellor or something I'm not completely sure um but anyway now I'm just moving on to the upstairs and I used the same bookshelves throughout the whole entire build just to keep it like looking the same so I didn't want to use one bookshelf downstairs and then like really modern one upstairs do you know what I mean so I just kept it with the same bookshelf and I do add some more computers and the, I do actually change up the chairs in this bit I didn't want it to be too orange because if you had, couldn't tell by already but I actually used the orange swatch from the get famous chairs so there's get famous chairs armchairs and dining chairs I didn't want to use the same ones all over the build 
but I didn't want to put like some random chair in and then it not kind of tie in and so I used the laundry day chairs and they actually matched the wood perfectly for the table that I used, like the desk and so I was actually really really happy with that um, but now moving on I'm just doing the other side of the build and this is where I put another fireplace um, I'm not actually sure what I put on there, but I know I put a picture into that fireplace. Um, but you can see I've actually added some painting objects so you can sims, so your sims can come here and paint is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I know the stairs did just delete, but I do actually add them back in a minute. It's not a problem. I just put them back in only because I deleted the wall so I could kind of put the painting on the fireplace. That's why it deleted. Um, I don't know why it does that, it kind of annoys me, but anyway. Um, but also, next to the painting objects, I have got some chess tables as well. So, if your sim wants to learn the logic skill or whatever, you can just come here. I know one of the child aspirations has like the chess table involved. I can't think of which one it is, I think it's the Whiz Kid one. It probably is the Whiz Kid one, um, but they can come here if you don't want to buy a chess table for it. Um, which I thought was pretty useful um, and then I'm just doing a little tea area where I said you can just go and grab a tea or a coffee or whatever and do your study and all that kind of stuff um, but yeah anyway so that is it for this build as always I hope you guys enjoyed watching me build this little library and as always if you do like my content then please subscribe and hopefully I will see you in my next speed building video bye guys